Welcome back from the break. Time for us to bring you showbiz, and Becky is already in the house with uh, Spark. You know, hiya. How are Hello you? to you, Brace. Exciting mm -hmm. news um, mm -hmm. coming in is that um, Asha Raymond is mm -hmm. coming to Ghana. Ta. I'm very excited about that. Uh -huh. Her music is also coming to Ghana. Okay. And it's all about the global citizen. So uh, the R&B uh, superstar Asha Raymond has announced he is performing at this year's Global Citizen Festival in Accra, Ghana. In mm. a Facebook post, the multiple award-winning musician says, quote, Accra. I will be performing at the Global Citizen Festival in Black Star Square alongside activists and world leaders to empower women and girls, protect the planet, and create change on September 24. Also performing for the first time in Ghana is singer and songwriter Siza, uh, her, and Nigerians, uh, Thames. Also joining the lineup is English rapper Stormzy, our very own Jackie, Sarkodie, and Stoneboy will all be performing. Our Crest event is the sister event to Global Citizens' annual New York City Festival. So this news mm. is very exciting. Yes. I'm looking forward to it. Mm. It's uh, a free event, and mm -hmm. so you're invited. I'm okay. inviting everybody. <laughs> I can't wait to bring you uh. all the juice from uh, uh, the uh, Ghana edition of mm. a Global Citizen. So... That's your It will put news. Ghana on the map, you know. Yeah, Good. it's like a big deal. And sure. I don't know why a lot of people are not making a big deal out of this. But I'm sure when the time is getting closer, we would have more conversations about that. Hopefully, we'll have Asha Raymond in the studio. In the studio. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, let's, let's move away from that. Let's talk about Ms. V. Okay. Ms. V, you know, she's been championing um depression yeah. um she's been talking about it lately and she's been having conversation about how we can uh, have more conversations about mm -hmm. you know depression and hopefully kick it out so we had uh, i had a conversation with her on e-vibes and here is miss Vistik. it's never enough i mean there's always a new ear listening to you mm. so yeah, so every time I get the chance, like, on this platform, I will talk about it. And I remember when I came back, I went on a certain radio show, and people were calling in. And this was supposed to be a very... One person called in, I think he was listening, and he's supposed to be, you know, a decorated um, industry person. Mm. And then the first thing he says is, hey, mama depression, you know? And he thought it was funny, but I had to yeah. tell him on air that was not funny was at it all. Funny? And then he was like, oh, oh, and you know, people joke about it. When you, go, when you travel outside, every student in any school is assigned to a therapist. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't see that side of it here. But we, it's, we don't, it's Do affected. we even have it? Yeah, we don't. Oh, we, we do have therapists in schools, okay. but it's not, nobody's walking up to a therapist to yeah. talk about their problems. But it's affecting so many people. I know people who are going through like terrible depression, but they can't even come out say, and that's what makes the depression even worse. worse. Because you don't want to open your mouth and say, I am depressed. depressed. Because somehow I think, yeah, crazy. And it's a sickness yeah. for foreign people. It's, exactly. It's, it's, yeah. But I mean, any chance I get to be able to talk about it, I will. It's real. What, what are the signs? Of people die from depression. Yeah, what it's are, a real thing. What are the signs mm -hmm. and what do you think that we can do? Uh, I mean, given that we, we, we find ourselves in those situations, what ah. can we do to maybe snap back? The biggest thing for me um, is communication. That's the one thing that helped me because I, I never talked. That's why therapists say, sit, let's have a conversation. conversation. You have to like offload, you know. Mm. But the signs, I mean, you know this person who is depressed and they are very different from how they were. They are crawling into their own space. They are sad always. They are crying a lot. They don't want to do what they usually do. Mm. You know, you, you, can, you can just tell, especially if you know whoever you are talking about. Yeah, you can just tell. Yeah. Well, Miss V right there. Mm. So for our throwback Thursday to yeah. the Brace, I've mm -hmm. been looking forward to it. I know that a lot of people have been looking forward to it. Uh -huh. So a medicine man is sent looking for the son of his tribal king and brings back an American golfer and a host of tags intent on keeping him in the golf tournament. Mm -hmm. The movie, uh, which was released in 2001, stars Leon Chancellor as Mr. Bones, uh, David Ramsey as Vince Lee, 
and Faison Love as Fast Pat, Pat Peda and Jane Benny as Letty. I mean, that it's real good. So, uh, for those of you uh, who've seen the movie, Mr. Bones, yeah, Mr. What, Bones, what memories do you have of that movie? When that big guy fell. Yeah, the fa the, the, my favorite, the, my favorite part was when he he, he went to pose in mm. somebody. <laughs> you know, it, was, uh, it was a fantastic movie uh, yeah, yeah. back in two thousand one. I mean, the the medicine man was a funny guy. Yeah, very very funny. Mr. Bones, I don't yeah. know. We should look for you know all, all the guys you know. Okay. In, in all right. Mm. Thank you very much. And oh, you have to it. do something else. Oh, international news. Yes. Thank you. Sure. So that's it for showbiz. We have it.